nominee to the, the U.S. Supreme Court has yeah. been accused of, of, of oh, sexual rape, harassment think, and yeah. assault. And this is like back in uh, college? Or in Yale, yeah. exactly, yeah, in exactly. university. And then the first thing that happens is that he gets a bunch of women to stand up and go like, oh, this was probably some girl that she, that liked him and then yeah. he didn't pay attention she and she's bitter. Wrong. It's a different guy. Exactly. Yeah. You know, because you kind of assume as the member of a group that faces oppression that mm everybody in that group would understand what it feels like to go through it and mm, that yeah. we would Some stand kind of by one another with each other exactly yeah. because every time you think oh great things are getting better and mm -hmm. then like we take two steps back and then of course it feels like things are a little slower to change mm. here yeah um i mean my own daughter uh, she's at the school of the arts mm -hmm. so most of the student population is female Mm -hmm. But even then, there is stuff happening. Um, she will sometimes tell me that a friend of hers is kind of being harassed online by, by a boy who likes her. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was like, please explain this to me. I yeah. mean, if a boy likes this girl, shouldn't he be trying to make her feel good? Yeah. Because apparently a boy was sort of stalking and the definition of stalking is you know i don't know i mean i, I i'm learning as well as a mm. parent mm. but apparently this boy was commenting on every single post mm. and then i don't know what happened whether she ignored him or or something but then eventually one of his comments was like oh you should kill yourself you know so mm. um they're mm. facing a whole new world that that, that i feel I'm, play, I'm playing catch up to because mm. when i mean my age is that my parents did not understand the internet at all. Yeah. So all the things that I encountered online, mm. and looking back, I feel like I was perhaps fortunate in that I escaped fairly unscathed. Mm. Um, but goodness knows there was a lot of creepy stuff going on. Yeah. But yeah, now with social media and cyberbullying and, and, and all sorts of things, it's scary because I feel like sometimes I don't know I may not know enough as a parent to try and protect her or try mm. to, to guide her. Yeah. My daughter said, she did comment because she's still in touch with some of her, her friends who have gone on to other secondary schools. Mm -hmm. And um, when they spoke, they did talk about the different environments they had in the different schools. Mm -hmm. And there was sort of agreement that there are schools where uh, you have a co-ed, I mean, it's, it's both boys and girls. Mm -hmm. And actually, the gender divide there is, is quite stark in the mm. sense that um, there's a lot of alpha male strutting and the boys will mm. resort to very macho ways of trying to show off their masculinity. Mm. And then the girls, you know, and then with the girls, it becomes a popularity contest. Mm. Like I remember one of my daughter's friends, she said in her class, the boys, all of the boys in the class mm. compiled a list ranking every single girl in that class mm -hmm. according to how attractive they were mm -hmm. ranked them yeah and made that list public um as in you know yeah and yeah. And, and and let these these girls let know oh you're a number five on the list you're not bad oh but you're <sighs> number 24 nobody wants to date you yeah you know and my daughter was aghast she was like yeah. how could this happen so how did the girls react did they like compile their own list of the boys and like you would hope so bottom? yeah but i hear from my daughter uh, from a conversation with a friend she said the girls just kind of like they're like what to do boys will be boys that phrase yeah. boys will be boys you know yeah um, and of course, the girls at the top of the list are the popular Strutting girls. Strutting around like a peacock. Yeah, like, oh, look at me, oh, everyone yeah, wants me, top. everyone thinks I'm pretty. Yeah. Um, it's really sad to think that we haven't moved on from things mm. like that. Mm. Yeah. And the fact that we, we make excuses for boys, oh, boys will be boys, like, yes. you know, we, we expect them to behave like that. And, yes. and it's okay that they behave like that, mm. but really, it is not okay. No, I'm a drama teacher as well. Mm -hmm. I, I've been seeing things in my classes, right? Mm. And there are things that immediately, of course, if you see a boy who behaves inappropriately around a girl, mm -hmm. people know what to look for. People know, okay, that's a line that's been crossed. We need to do something in mm -hmm. order to keep that girl safe from this boy. Mm -hmm. But what happens when the victims are boys? Mm -hmm. You know, because it's not just females. It's not just females who get sexually harassed. It's, it's males too. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, Absolutely. there is a boy um, in, in one of the schools where I teach who, who, for whatever reason, can't 
stay within um, appropriate behavioral boundaries. Mm -hmm. And he can't seem to help himself. It might be an impulse control problem. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But he touches the other boys inappropriately. Mm -hmm. I mean, not right there, but, you yeah. know, in ways that are clearly inappropriate. And, and, and the thing that brought me up short was that if he did that to a girl, yeah. he would immediately be suspended. Right. But because his victims were boys, they were trying to give him a chance. Mm -hmm. They were trying to, you know, and the boys themselves were really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, but you could see they would like, they would, they would just try to cope with it. Mm -hmm. you know? And I guess boys, you know, they, they kind of feel like, oh, I've got to like show that I'm, mm. I can manage this. I'm yes. macho enough. Yes. So they probably wouldn't stand up and say that, I'm sorry, I feel sexually harassed by this other boy. Yeah. Because that would exactly. make them seem weak, right? Exactly. We also have to look closely at our definitions, you know, yeah. I mean, do yeah. we need to look a little deeper and, and, and in the interest of Me Too, I mean, shouldn't Me Too extend to anyone and everyone who has oh, ever felt it, you know, absolutely. including males. Yeah. And whether you are male or female or, you know, anything along the spectrum, yeah. um, you deserve to be safe, you deserve mm -hmm. to be heard, mm -hmm. and you deserve to be protected by the law. Yeah. Yeah. We would really love to hear about your experiences and thoughts. Please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and also find us on Instagram and Facebook. And more importantly, please share this video with everybody you know. You might actually really help somebody just by doing that.